Hey, what's up guys? Today I wanted to show you how you can back up your computer onto another drive. It's called mirroring in this case. So I found this really good open source free solution. Um, works for me, maybe it'll work for you. So I'm gonna just show you the setup right now, uh, show you how I get it done. And it happens every night at six o'clock. You can schedule it actually whenever you like. So I went to this place, um, twobrightsparks.com, freeware, get to this page. And what you want to download is sync back free so go ahead and click that download it get it on your computer once you get it done um, i have it run there's a few things where it asks you if you want it to run when your computer's logged off and i did do that because then that way when my computer's locked it can still run the backup in any case once you open it up it's going to come up with a screen like this now i already have two backups that are set up and basically what I'm doing, just to give you an idea, is I'm backing up everything on my desktop, and it's not even really a backup per se as much as it is a mirror. So anything that's on my desktop at 6 p.m. gets copied and updated on this other location that I have, which would be my external drive. Same thing happens for my Z drive that I have, and then everything goes back on this other drive. So what's kind of cool about this is that um, if I delete something off my desktop, when it goes to mirror, it's going to delete it out of that source area. So external drive is essentially all of my files that I would want to utilize um, in case my hard drive or my computer broke, then I can have on my external drive. Or if for some reason I needed to take all my work home for the day, I could run the sync and then take that drive home and at least have access to the files that I might need. So how this works, I'll just uh, pretend there was nothing in here. What you'd want to do is create a profile. A profile is going to be, hey, here's a group of folders and this is what I want you to do with that group of folders in this particular profile. So if you go to profile, new, it's going to give you some information, give it a name, and this one I'll just do example, go to next, and then this is the type that you want to create. So it's up to you um, what you might want to do. There is a backup option which just kind of like makes a backup folder and in increments. I haven't played with that one as much. I like this mirror because it actually re does remove some files. Uh, synchronize is where you're going to use files on both ends. So if you were going to get on the drive and do it once and then do something maybe on the computer itself, that really works in those scenarios where you take it home and you make uh, changes in both locations. In my case, I really just like to do most of my work here and it's a backup for me in case I need to take it. So <clears throat> the mirror works just fine. So it really just pushes whatever is on my desktop and computer at six o'clock p.m. when the, it starts, it basically mirrors that on this other drive. So that gets me set up with the mirror. Then it's asking what the source and destination is. There's some other options like FTPing and whatnot. I just do everything as an internal external drive on both sides, then I'll hit done. Um, it should have some sort of prompt to let you know that you're gonna go and uh, set up what's happening in this folder. So we're gonna do that now. All right, so here we go. We have uh, a couple options that we're gonna start with. First, you wanna pick what is your source. Um, you can, I guess that's where you can name the source, but you click this little folder here and it's popping up. And in this case, I'll just do a kind of a, a repeat of my example. I'm going to say that I want to copy everything on my desktop. So there's my desktop. Click on that and I'm going to select that folder. So this desktop, I want every night at 6 p.m. to be copied to a location on my destination. So on my destination, I'll go ahead and click the folder figure out what uh, directory. Now this is where you have your plugged in external drive that you go to. You figure out what you want to do and then I'll create a new folder here and I'll just say example, look at that, misspelling even on the demos. Uh, example desktop. And, and this is a folder on that drive so I'm going to select that folder. So take everything that's on this C drive desktop of Adams and go on to that M drive example desktop location. Now it does have a filter, which is very handy. If you click change filter, there are a lot of files and things and folders that you might not want it to back up or copy, or there's no need to, or you might get a log error saying that, hey, it can't write this file. Is It could be a system file that you really don't need. Um, it's just something that's running Windows. So if you run into that, when you look at the log reports in the morning, um, you can go and isolate that file and you can add it to these files not to be copied. And right now there's no restrictions. It just has, uh, the asterisk to say we're going to do all the files and folders in that directory. So I hit OK. And it does have this secondary window that opens up that shows you all those files and folders in there. So you can go through 
and deselect ones you might not want. And I already have like thumbs and desktop and any and all these different um, subfiles deselected so it doesn't back them up. So I'm good for that. I hit OK. And I really have everything mostly done except for the win. So when you go to win, it gives you the ability to set your schedule. So I'm going to hit that edit schedule. And it's just letting you know that this particular one has not had a profile schedule. So I'll hit OK. And then you jump in here and then it's what time do you want to start? What day do you want to start? So you usually leave today, um, then change your time. Like in my case, I said six seems to be a good one for me because um, at 6 p.m. I'm already out of here. I leave at five. So then it runs then. I run that daily. And then you just look at what all these other little options. Really, if you run it daily and you have this um, recur every one day, it's going to happen every night. Then I just hit OK. Gives you the task schedule. Hit OK. And finally, at the rest of this, there's not much more. Like you can change the type if you ever needed to. Um, there's some search capabilities, the looking for some files and things once you start the searching or the things. If you turn this advanced one at the end, it has a bunch more options that you could explore if ever necessary. Um, I usually leave it on easy because that does everything I need it to do. So I can hit OK and it's letting you know that the, um, since I did a mirror, that it can remove files from the destination. So just think about that drive, that destination, whatever folder you put it to, it could remove uh, files from that folder. So that's fine. Okay. And then the last thing it will ask you is if you want to do a uh, simulated run of the new profile, which I suggest you do. It actually will take a little bit of time depending on how much of the, the profile or things that are in there. But what that does is it actually goes through a simulation of copying it. It actually doesn't do the copy. It just allows you to take a look at it, see what would happen, and it will run a report for you after. So here's my example desktop. You can see that there's nothing in the folder, yet it's doing a simulated um, a run on this. So at the end of it, it's going to give me a report, which I'm actually not going to wait for because it would be a little bit of time. But once that report pops up, you can see any errors that might um, surface. And it's usually with like system files and things like that. But generally, those errors don't prevent the process from continuing. So it, all of your core files are there if that's really what you're looking for. I uh, hope this helps. Ask me any questions if you wanted to use this, if that's going to work for you. Have a good one.